Hey, it's Vanessa from CraftyGemini.com and I post weekly crafting and cooking videos here on YouTube. This week I'm back with block number seven, which I'm calling the Half Square Triangle Freebie. I'm calling this week's block the Half Square Triangle Freebie because all of you are going to start off with 16 half square triangle units and then it's really going to be up to you how you want to orient the blocks to end up with your finished 12 inch block. This is the block that I'll be making here today, but I'm also going to show you a few other variations of how you can lay your half square triangle units in order to get a different block. If you're coming across this tutorial randomly, today we're covering block number seven out of the 12 blocks I'm teaching you how to make in my video quilt along. If you want to join us from the beginning, go ahead and click here and I'll send you to the playlist. All the different block tutorials will be listed right there. Now let's start with the supplies we'll need and jump right into making block number seven. As usual, we have two fabrics, a dark and a light, and you'll be cutting out eight squares that measure three and seven eighths inches by three and seven eighths inches from each one of the two fabrics. If you don't know how to cut the seven eighth measurements, remember it's the little stick right before the next number up, and you can click on the bubble there, and I'll take you to a video where I show you guys how to do just that. This block is made up of only half square triangle pieces, so as usual, lay one of each of the fabrics together with the pretty sides touching, put a pin in the top right corner, turn it on point and then you're going to draw a line on the diagonal from one point to the other. You want to use a pencil or a chalk marker. I'm using a pen just so it shows up better on camera. But after you have that line, put a pin on the other corner and then you're going to repeat that to all your different block units. And then you want to sew, remember, a quarter inch to the right of that line and a quarter inch to the left of that line. Now let me show you guys something else we quilters use a lot if we're doing a lot of the same exact piece. This is called strip piecing. Notice I stitch one line all the way down and then I just stop and I get my other piece and I can just put it right there and it just keeps stitching all the way down and that way you don't have to be stopping and cutting your threads. You end up with a long little chain of blocks like that. Then I simply turn it over and do the quarter inch line on the other side of my line. Go all the way down. You want to stop then you know reorient the block, fix it up and guide it in there. Then when you're done with that, you can just snip the little threads that are in between and separate all your units and it saves you a lot of time. Then simply remove all your pins so we can prepare these units to be sliced in half. Remember to place your ruler right on the line that you traced out earlier and you're going to slice it right down that diagonal. When you open them up, you see you end up with a half square triangle unit. You're going to repeat this to all your pieces and remember to give them a good press. Then you can slice off the little dog ears. We want to work with nice even blocks and then you can start playing around with the orientation of how you want your actual block to look. There's so many different ways that you can lay out all your 16 little half square triangles so I encourage you guys to play around with it and notice here just from turning in the four blocks right in the center I end up with a totally different looking block. I kind of like this look here, but I'm going to turn these in the center to make like a little pinwheel. And then this is the finished block that I'm going to be working on. Remember, as usual, we're going to sew all the blocks across in individual rows. You can see I have that done here. Press those seams to alternating sides. And then we're just going to start sewing these up together. Remembering to place pins at all the different point intersections. We want nice crisp points. And make sure that you have those seams abutting nicely going in opposite directions. We have our point here. There should be an extra quarter of an inch to the side there. All these nice points. And then you're going to go ahead and do that to the bottom piece. When you have it all together, there's your block. So that's block number seven, and we're more than halfway there to block number 12. And now the news that you guys have been waiting for, the winners of my ABC123 fabric flashcard video workshop, as well as two yards of the Pelon Peltex, and a yard and a half of the Pelon Wonder under R. Congratulations to all our winners, and if you're one of them, make sure that you're checking your YouTube inbox for a message from me. To learn more about my ABC123 Fabric Flashcard Video Workshop, you can click right here. If you want to register for the workshop, go ahead and visit my online shop, and I'll run the link right down here. I'll also include a direct link in the video description box below this video, and I'll see you guys next week with another video tutorial.